Today, we'll discuss about the anatomy of the stomach. Part 1. First of all, we'll make a diagram. This is pubic bone, this is pubic tubercle, pubic symphysis, pubic tubercle. This is position of anterior superior iliac spine. This is anterior superior iliac spine. This position of diaphragm. This is diaphragm. This is costal margin. There is pubic bone. This is pubic tubercle. This is pubic tubercle. This is anterior superior iliac spine. And here is inguinal ligament. This is inguinal ligament. This is inguinal ligament. So this is abdominal cavity. Abdominal cavity is divided into nine regions by two vertical and two horizontal lines. Two horizontal lines are one line passes at the level of tip of ninth costal cartilage. This is level of tip of ninth costal cartilage. And here is this is This is L1 vertebra. This is L1 vertebra. So this line is transparent line passes through lower part of the L1 vertebra. And here it crosses tip of ninth costal cartilage. This line is transparent line. A transpyloric plane and the horizontal line. Here is anterior superior iliac spine. Just posterior to this, there is tubercle. This is tubercle of the iliac crest. This is tubercle of the iliac crest. And the line passes from the tubercle of the iliac crest. This is, this line is so this line is trans tubercular plane. This is tubercle of the iliac crest. It connects the tubercle of the iliac crest. And it passes through the level of upper border of L5 vertebra. This is L5 vertebra. This is L1 vertebra. This is L5 vertebra. And the plane. So these are two horizontal lines are two horizontal plane and there are two vertical plane. It is this is right lateral and this is left lateral plane. This is right lateral. Lateral plane. This is left lateral plane. 
this plane here it passes tip of the ninth costocardia meeting one at point and if you trace upward this is mid clavicular line this is clavicular this is mid clavicular line passes vertically and it here crosses the tip of the ninth costal cartilage and the mid ingonal point. By these two lines, two horizontal and two vertical planes, this abdominal cavity is divided into nine regions. This region is left, this is left hypochondrium. This is right hypochondria. This is epigastrium. This is epigastrium. And here is right lumbar. This is right lumbar. This is left lumbar. And this is umbilical region. Here umbilicus is present. So this is umbilical region. And this is a right iliac fossa, a right iliac region. This is left iliac region. And this is Hypogastrium. This is hypogastrium. So these are nine regions. Now discuss about the position of the stomach. Here, you can see the stomach lies here. This is position of esophagus and This is position of the stomach. So in this diagram, you can see the location of the stomach. The stomach lies in this region. This is epigastrium. It lies in left hypochondrium. It, it lies in umbilical region also. Here it extends up to umbilical region. This is umbilical region, epigastrium and left hypochondrium. So it is located in these regions. Its length is maximum its length is about 25 centimeter and its capacity at the time of birth is about 30 ml. At the time of birth 30 ml and at puberty about 1 liter and in adult about 1.5 to 2 liter. So this is capacity. Its shape is it roughly J shaped like this. This is J shaped. This is J shaped like this. In thin individual, but in thick or uh, in heavy weighted or an obese person its position is like this it is more horizontal this is known as steer horn stomach this is known as steer horn steer horn type stomach these are two horn like structure so steer horn like stomach so this is all about the first part of the stomach. Thank you.